Good morning class. Our topic for day two in engineering data analysis is about fundamental counting principle and probability. So this this only an introduction. So in this lesson, you will you will learn about sample space uh, relationship among events. So you will learn that and. Rules in, in counting rules useful in probability. And number three is probability. You will learn. So this is this is our objective in day two. So this topic is very important because this topic is also included in your board exam. So this is the important topic in engineering data analysis so now we will go to sample space so what's the meaning of sample space sample space is list of all outcome list of all possible outcome for example uh, tossing tossing a coin so there are two possible outcome in tossing a coin it could be head or tail so the sample space is equal to 2 rolling of a dice so it could be 1 or 2 or 3, or 4, 5, or 6. So the total sample space is 6. Number 3, selecting a card from a deck. So in a deck of cards, we have uh, we have a uh, diamond. Art spade and the uh, club when i get uh when i select a card from a deck it could be a diamond heart spade or club with a number of ace one two three four five six seven eight nine ten jack queen and king so since there are four the sample space is equal to 4 times 13. So the total sample space is 52. So in this uh, backup card, there is no joker, it's not included. So remember that. So the sample space is, is only 52. So let that makes uh, things complicated. So example number four, tossing of a uh, two coin. So what's the sample space of tossing a uh, two coin? So so coin one and coin two. So we have in coin 1, it's only tails or head. So and in coin 2, it, it is only tail or head. So the possible outcomes will be T times T, T times H, and head times T. Head them said. So the sample space is total sample space or list of possible outcomes is four. So remember that. So we have now so sample number five tossing of a two dice. So what is the sample space? So we have 
dice 1 and dice 2. So you will put the 6 possible outcomes. It could be 1 to 6 and dice 2 it could, it could be 1 to 6. So you, you, you will multiply this to here, to this. So 1, 1. 1, 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, and 1 and 6. So here, so this part and you multiply this and to here. To 1, to 2, to 3, to 4. To five and to six. So the the total sample space is six times six. So it's a square or six by six. Six by six square. The total sample space for Two dice is thirty-six. So what if three dice? Three dice. So so if three dice, so six times six times six. So that is the total sample space for three dice. So let's go now to rule of counting so we have a rule two rules rule one is when you see a word in a problem or so when you see or in a problem you add the number of ways so way one plus number of way two so rule number two rule of counting when you see n in a problem you, mul you multiply Way 1 plus way 2. So what what is the meaning of or? Or can be associated with with the word either. Either. So remember, can be associated with either. So it means, for example, we have. 1.99 it can be your answer is or 2 so it's either of the 2 so when we say n meaning both can be associated with the word both or all all the number of ways so remember this we will explain this rule of counting when we are solving a statistic problem so we will come we will now come to probability so probability is equal to required outcome over sample space so in the book in other books this they call this uh, Possible outcome. Uh, favorable event. Sometimes favorable event. Well, well, the sample space is called list of possible event. So I choose. So I choose required outcome over sample space or list of possible outcome. So for us to easily understand I put the required outcome so we have here P, P plus Q is equal to 1 so what is P? P is probability of success while Q 
probability of fail failing so from here so p plus q is equal to 1 so if you have an answer of 1 so example you have you compute a probability and when the answer is 1 The meaning of 1 in probability is the, the probability is likely to occur. So 100% success, it is 1. So if your answer exceed in 1, so So meaning if you compute a probability and your answer is greater than 1, meaning your answer is wrong. Because 1 is only the uh, 100 1 is only the sure out sure the probability will occur so if you have a uh, answer greater than one so your answer is wrong so take note of that so from here p plus q is equal to one the probability of success can be one minus q or q will be one minus p so remember this Two and this one. So for for us to have a better better understanding of the topic, I will solve many problem as I can because this is this is a uh, important part of engineering data analysis because this will surely come or surely appear to the board exam so I will solve as many as I can for you to have a better understanding of the fundamental counting principle and probability so that's the end of our introduction for, for day 2